Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The IMRH or Indian Multi-Role Helicopter Program is a twin-engine multi-role multi-mission 13-ton class of medium lift helicopter under development by HL. It is being designed to perform versatile roles and operations such as support, air assault, air transport, VIP transport, combat logistics such as troop transport, combat search and rescue, and casualty evacuation operations. These helicopters will eventually replace the MI-17 helicopters which is in service with Indian Air Force. Considering the requirement of our armed forces, it's estimated that Air Force, Army and Navy will procure 200-114 IMRH helicopters. The overall cost of the procurement for 314 IMRH is estimated to be around $20 billion. The naval variant of IMRH is being called DBMRH or deck based multi role helicopter. It will be different with Army and Air Force version in many aspects. It's going to be slightly bigger than IMRH of Army and Air Force. The DBMRH for Indian Navy will be in three variants, which will be anti submarine or anti surface variant, special operations variant, and airborne early warning system. The IMRH is going to be powered by a powerful engine which will be developed by a joint venture of HL and French engine maker Safran. Both the firm has signed a work share agreement for joint production in Aero India 2023 followed by a memorandum of understanding signed on 8th July 2023. Safran and HL will have 50-50 work share. HL will be involved in design, development and production of some of the core engine components which is a breakthrough achievement in terms of expertise and know-how in the country. The IPR that is intellectual property rights of the engine will remain within the country. As per the Hindustan Times report of 24th September 2023, HL will commence the work on joint design and development of helicopter engine with Safran from November 2023. The production of engines is expected to begin in four years, that is by 2027. HL is planning to base the Safran HL joint venture at a new Tumkur facility in Karnataka, which is going to be the largest helicopter manufacturing facility in India. This facility has capacity to manufacture up to 90 helicopters every year with a mix of light combat helicopters, light utility helicopters and IMRH. Talking about the technical specifications of IMRH, it is going to be equipped with a smart cockpit, composite and modular airframe, crash-worthy tricycle landing gear, 4-axis automatic flight control system, state-of-art mission systems, advanced avionic systems, and it will feature service ceiling of 6.5 km, range of 800 km, endurance of 3 hours, payload of 4,000 kg and maximum cruise speed of 270 km per hour. It's going to be 25.16 meter long with a height of 2.41 meter and width of 4.74 meter. It will be the most spacious helicopter in its category with a troop carrying capacity of 24 to 36. IMRH is being designed to operate in extreme weather conditions and high altitude regions. It will have five foldable blades in the main rotor, which will be made up of composite material. The tail will have four rotor blades. IMRH will have four hard points where it can carry four anti-tank guided missiles and each hard point can carry a payload of up to 300 kilograms. It can also carry 500 kilograms of payload on the hard point near the fuselage. In total, it will have the weapons payload capacity of 1600 kilograms and overall payload capacity of 4000 kilograms. At an altitude of 4.5 kilometers, IMRH will be able to carry payload of 1000 kilograms. It will also be equipped with electronic warfare suite and self protection jammer. Now talking about its development, IMRH will be developed in collaboration with private players under the 
SPV that is a special purpose vehicle model with minimum 50% of indigenous components at present HL is utilizing its own internal funds for development of the IMRH the project sanction of this helicopter is expected within this financial year that is 2023-24 the project is estimated to cost around 10000 crore rupees for two different versions which is IMRH and TBMRH once the project sanction is given for development the estimated timeline for the completion of development is reported to be around 7 years this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.